डायलॉग इनोवेशन चैलेंज आईटी फील्ड के क्या तोरु तोरु थाक्षण क्षेत्रे कोडिंग क्या ने इतामत संकीर्ण विषय इगना क्या नहीं मटे लेसी नहीं इगना क्या नहीं मटे गुड़ा वियदं करन नोनी विषय तमे कोडिंग इगना क्या नहीं मा पासु करवना सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लिकेशन एका अपे मीलंग टीम में का निर्माण एकर लती है ना अपे बालम तो मनोद कर लती है ना As new computer science and engineering students, we were excited but soon found coding challenging. We questioned the difficulty of learning programming and we tried to simplify it. Imagine learning code from the YouTube tutorial, but you are just watching the content. Uh, reading blogs and documentation also doesn't help you to understand the actual code. To solve this problem, we came up with a new solution called CodeLens, which is designed to provide a more interactive coding experience. You guys would be wondering what this guy is thinking of. This is not a concept level, so we have uh, made a platform out of our idea, and this is a one-minute demo of that. So what you can see here is looking like a YouTube. These are the video contents in our media, a new format. So initially it would like would like a YouTube, uh, YouTube video. So but the additional things we have are we have the preview editor where you can see what is happening. In addition, you can scroll the code there. You can select the code there. You can copy paste it. You can create a new file in it. Everything you can do in the video editor which you are using for the learning. So, in usual things, what you do is you can see the screen recording of the code. You cannot access it. You cannot run it. You cannot develop it. These are the issues you have. In this format, you can do all these things. So, what are the features we have? What can we do? All this time, I was talking about the learners. How someone is learning so that they can watch the tutorial, get the understanding. They can on the go uh, do the development there, and also they can get the extra code they need for the tutor. So if we take a YouTube video, every two years there would be same video, Python tutorial or JavaScript tutorial because there are some upgrades, syntax upgrade. There are so many things. So as a tutor, he has to upload everything again and again. But this format, what he can do is he can refactor it. We don't have to create the entire session of that uh, compilation again and again. So that's the biggest thing for the tutor. And the organization that we call as an organization which is teaching code learning. So it's a low cost. So it would be providing a better experience for the users. I mean the students who are learning in that institution and also low maintenance. So because they don't have to upload the videos again and again. So when talking about the comparison, so here we can see the blogs, Stack Overflow things, and also code sandbox, YouTube, and code lens. So mainly we have been focusing on the ID execution issue and the explanation and the code content. So and in the multiple scenario case, so we can say that uh, we get the GitHub link and the code there, but we are not getting each and every scenario that the tutor is explaining in the video. So for example, in a video he would be explaining four scenarios, but the, uh, what he would have in the GitHub link or the code would be for one scenarios. So that's a quick uh, snapshot of what we have there. So, so today most of this content which is getting posted on YouTube is by the content creators. They their preferred platform would be YouTube. Yep. How would you attract them to your platform to create the content? So what we what we say is what we have in additional here is for the student he has some extra benefits. No, I know you. you I, I I agree, but I'm just saying the business plan. No, no. No, you have to have content. You have to have code in your repository. Now YouTube, there are so many people publishing it because that's the known channel. Yep. So how would you attract people who are on YouTube posting these codes to your, your platform? So the initial plan is like, we creating the content. So this is the Java tutorial. You guys, couple of you guys, okay. Couple of you guys, we, we have already created them. So we have created them and post there and okay. sending them, okay, learn from here. So we are just building, okay, we have this platform where you can learn easily. And after that, we should be, we are planning like going with the institution. So instead of creating... So are you kind of popularizing this in the universities where you all are studying or how are you all starting this so, traction between students and the... the so mainly creator? we are focusing this on the initial code learning beginners. So we are uh, talking schools. with the... Huh? Schools. School level or the private small tuition centers like IDM, BCAS, those things. So we have been talking about, we had sessions with them as well. So we took them with these local brands we had there. Now, so yeah, anybody who wants to freely learn, that's why I think Ramesh also asked whether they're going to create modular-wise, intermediary, uh, beginner, intermediate, and expert or whatever. 
Is it going to be something that later on you can get into a certificate level where the person who is subscribing can learn and get certified or yeah. something? Are you looking at to that extent? In a YouTube video, anyone can upload a new video. Uh, anyone can record a new video and upload it. We are fo focusing on that, uh, that kind of application. Currently, we are uh, providing yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, Is it for fun you are doing or do you want to make money out of that? Is it a yeah. business? What is it? Yeah. Are you doing, Anyhow, doing it's it as going a social to... cause or yeah. you want to do it as a business? We want to do it as a business. Yes. Dialogue Innovation Challenge.